Hi guys, uh, many of you who know me know that I'm a bit of a little geek when it comes to sci-fi stuff. So especially what's behind me, Doctor Who. And I was just on website looking at what figures are due to come out, uh, what's expected for 2023. And I just realised that I haven't even made a review on anything that I, that I actually collect. So I went on to one of the websites, which is the Merchandise Guide. It's quite big, as you can see. I'll just put a little screenshot of it up on the screen there. So I thought I'd go all the way back to when the figures started getting released, just to see if I had them, if there's any variations as well. And we'll go through some of them now. So we'll start off with Series 1. I think this was way back in the early 2000s. It was um, the Christopher Eccleston Doctor Who. So let's go check them out. So, I'm going to take you all the way back to 2005 with one of the first figures that were released was the Assault Dalek. You can still get these on eBay. So, the average around 15 to £25 a piece. So, this one has got the little claw. Bronze in colour, for your first ones. The Ninth Doctor, so there's a couple of static poses with the legs on this one. Legs are actually fixed, so you can, you can still get this on eBay as well. So average about up to £10 for this one, but it's pretty pretty rubbish as you can see this one this is another variant this actually is poseable figure so he's got a blue top on so but this one came with a little Mickey Smith Orton head an Orton arm and a little tiny detonator device. There you go. And then you have the regeneration set. So, in fact, before I go back, this one actually still comes in around eBay from around £20 all the way up to £40 for this one and then you got the regeneration set this one with David Tennant as the 10th Doctor these actually come in they usually tend to split this up on when they're reselling on eBay but again about 20 to 30 pound for this one and then you've got uh, the David Tennant one which would come in around 20 pound as well so this one you've got Rose Tyler Billy Piper so this one is like the first original ninth doctor with fixed limbs so absolutely horrific figure so the kip of that mug crazy so this come with three cyber spiders this comes still on ebay 
for around seven to nine quid. To be fair, I don't even know why anyone would go out and buy this today. So, but it did come with three variants on this. Here are your three variants together. You've got one with a bit darker clothing there in the middle. So, and a few bit of paint apps. And then, you've got this horrific variant. If you thought that was bad, it was recently re-released again in a three pack same outfit but painted differently shocking I'm back in with the ninth doctor so this one has a different face mould on it kind of does look a bit better than the original and also different jacket but then you've also got the hologram ninth doctor within this set this was released late last year October, November 2022 from B&M you can still get it on character options I think it's about £16 for the set next series one Doctor Who figures is the Autons so two came in a separate pack and then another one was released in grey so there's a couple of variants on them so this one's got purple like a little striped shirt this one's just plain black shirt and obviously this one is the grey still find them on ebay on average about six to eight pounds and then the double pack is around 12 to 15 pounds <clears throat> I did buy a load of these in bulk so but there is just I use them as spares little customs just to fill up the shelf really the next ones we've got is the Gelf Zombies again two variations so the first one it's literally the same type of figure same dress same paint apps and then you have this one and this one is actually a glow-in-the-dark type of figure again on eBay for just the normal one is about five pounds but the glow-in-the-dark can go up to twelve pounds next one you've got Victor Meldrew I mean Dr. Constantine so this was in the Empty Child episode again with the Ninth Doctor so two variations you've got they both come with a cane so but then the second variation he came with a swappable head so with a gas mask on Other than that, exactly the same figure. 
on eBay it comes up to about £20 for this figure as well. Sticking with the empty child, we've got him right here. Then with the little gas mask on. And he came in a two pack with Captain John Harkness as well. So, so you can still get this on eBay for around £25 for the two set. Sticking with Captain John Harkness, this is another variation. He's got now a long jacket on. So he's got the 10th Doctor's hand. Comes with a little gun as well. This one is one of the most expensive from Series 1. This still comes in at eBay for around £50 for this figure. Next one is the Mox of Balhoon. He comes in He comes in at 12 to 20 pounds, depending on what variation you've got of him. But there is three variations. So you've got this one is like a purple colour. And the base he's sitting on is a little chair. So it's just plain bronze effect going all the way around. Then you've got a blue version. So, and then they've got additional paint apps going all the way around there. And then you've got another blue version. But again, bronze going all the way around. Like I say, averages between 12 to £20 on eBay. This one is the Slovene and the Space Pig. There is a little variation Slovene as well that came separate on its own. There's just a little variation in the paint apps. One's a bit glossier than the other. Let's say this one was sold separately. So, but the one with the actual space pig still comes in around just 10 to 15 pound on eBay. But then there was a further release of another Slovene with a skin suit pretty gross this one actually comes in on ebay of on and around 30 to 35 pounds These next ones are the Sakorax. So there is a leader on this side, and then there's, these are just also the Sakorax Warriors. The, the Warriors actually come with a sword accessory and the full mask, and then the leader comes with. Two staff, but you can actually see his face through the mask. The leader can go on eBay for up to £30. And the warrior, you can still get him for around £10. This one is the editor. 
so which no one ever asked for. So it's Simon Pegg. So bog standard figure. Actually gives nothing to the collection. You can still get this pile of for about five pounds on eBay. But to be fair, why would you bother? And then you've got bronze Dalek. So there is a little bit of difference on this Dalek as it has a little mutant reveal within so but this Dalek still goes on eBay up to and around £30 for this one now there is one figure that I haven't got yet from Series 1 and it is the genetic Dalek so it's very hard to come by I'll pop an image up on the screen now but this can go up to around £40 it is, but like I say it's very rare so that it actually comes up on there and the last one I've got is a little custom figure for series one this isn't actually a prime evil figure so but I have just repainted it with an outfit sculpted some hair on so this is for a Jackie Tyler that I have on the shelf with the others so it always surprised me that character options didn't make a figure for Jackie Tyler still to this day so I'll be doing a few more of these videos carrying on the series of the collection so give us a thumbs up like subscribe as well and I will see you on the next one